Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. I'm sorry, I said I'd be back in a week and that was my full intention. But unfortunately, my health fell apart again. Um, as you all know, I had that hip surgery and I started um, physical therapy. I think I got three visits in and got COVID again. This time it kicked my butt and I'm still not recovered. Um, I think I had COVID for 16 days before I tested negative. I was in the hospital um, and they did some testing on me. As you guys know, I, or most of you probably know, I have a disease called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. And basically that's a fancy name for a lung disease that is congenital. I also have a congenital heart defect. Um, the lung disease is something, you guys all have something called antitrypsin in your lungs. Mine is deficient and the antitrypsin flows through your body, gets into your blood. There's a protein that lines your lungs that fights all your infections off. And mine is deficient, so I don't fight infection well. I had the vaccines, I did all of that. They didn't take because I have autoimmune disease. With low immunity, I didn't fight well, so I didn't build up the antibodies that most people build up. Um, as you can see, I'm short of breath, I'm winded. Uh, and that hasn't gone away. Um, and it's been really hard for me to breathe. But they have said stuff about my left ventricle being enlarged. Like I said, I have a heart defect, which has caused my aorta to enlarge. They're watching it for an aneurysm. It is on the borderline right now. If it gets any bigger, then I would have to have open heart surgery. Um, which sucks. <laughs> but, um, so I've been dealing with that. I'm going back to see my pulmonary doctor. I've got to go back and see my cardiologist and have more testing done. But uh, this is why I have not been here. I have not felt good enough to paint or do anything. Uh, three days ago, I just started walking. My good news, my orthopedic surgeon said that my hip was doing well. So I don't have to go back to um, physical therapy. He said, just walk, 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 walk. I've been walking 0.67 miles and have to stop roughly six to 10 times just to catch my breath on a slow stroll through the woods. So it's not going real well, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to get healthy again. I swear to you, I'm going to get healthy again, no matter what it takes. And then I need a knee replacement on my other knee. Um, that hip that I'm working on is doing good, but my knee isn't. So that is kind of holding me back a little bit. But I'm still a little wobbly, but my muscles are getting stronger, and that's a great thing. So that is why I have not been here, and I apologize to you guys. I know some of you are going to say, don't apologize. Your health comes first. I get that. But um, I want to be painting, and I want to be doing videos for you, and I know you guys have been waiting a long time. So today I am just going to show you a video that I took weeks ago of a sketchbook sketchbook flip through that I'm doing. Um, and that sketchbook flip through I think started in, I don't know, it's this little square one. And it started, let's see, World Watercolor Month 2023, which would have been July, July of 2023. And it went through to August, August of 2023, and when I finished it. And I thought I did a video on this, but I guess I didn't. I'm going to check before I post it. <laughs> and then today I'm going to be working on some gouache painting that I've been wanting to do. So uh, let me roll the video for you. Okay, so this is a little 5x5 five five old Pentelic sketchbook that I had. Uh, back from when I was an ambassador, I'm still using all those those journals up. But um, these little square ones sure are convenient. This uh, I have down that was World Watercolor Month. 
uh, last summer. So I will go ahead and we'll get started um, right from here. Hopefully I won't move my, move my book and you'll be able to see every picture. Um, I have no idea what to expect here, you guys. <laughs> okay, day one, sunlit. This is very overdone with gouache. Uh, it looks like I had just had my knee replacement done, so that's probably part of the reason it was not great. This one is raspberry. I did that in watercolor. The other one was in gouache. Just a loose painting. Uh, this one was burst, and it didn't turn out very good. And this was fog. Day six was flavor. So I did uh, garlic and onion. Oh no, they're all garlic. Never mind, they're all garlic. Day seven was lemon. This was done in watercolor as well. Day eight was mechanism. And I was starting to do my knee. <laughs> That's funny. Day nine was vegetation. Day 10 was clutter. I think I took a, I know I took a photo from online to do that. And then this one was just a landscape of some sort. This one was water. I think I looked at some waves and there was a lot going on in the waves with color, so I wanted to try it and I struggled. And this is about the time when I started to struggle with everything that I painted. Uh, this day, the 26th day, no it wasn't the 26th day, well one of the days was stitch. So I did the cartoon character stitch. There you go honey, you can sit there. And then uh, another day was bell. So I did bell. And this day was olive. I remember doing this one. I did it in a doctor's office in the waiting room, not in the waiting room, in the exam room while I waited for the doctor. And then envelopes, obviously. This one was time. So I did Big Ben, part of Big Ben. And then this one was aubergine. So I did it in an aubergine color. This, I don't know what it was, but overdone in watercolor, and then a little bit of white gouache. This was a um, still life that I had sitting here on my desk. I ran out of room for my candle, and it tilted the perspective. I should have just let it run off the page. Or skipped it all together. I don't know why I was so determined to put it in there. Uh, I don't know what this was about. I didn't put any notes in. Here I was working on clouds and I was using the White Knights granulation set of watercolors. So I used the cobalt blue, the cadmium yellow, medium, and violet and mist from the granulating set. It's kind of fun and it, it made some really cool clouds and again I used the White Knights granulation set for this and these were the colors I used ultramarine cobalt black ochre light cad yellow and violet mist so some of these were taken probably from my Daniel Smith I should have wrote that down because they don't have I don't think they have ultramarine and cobalt in there and cobalt isn't granulating I don't think and then this one was a gouache painting I did on a rainy day. It was raining outside, storming, and I thought, well, I'm just going to paint what I see. So that's out my front doors. 
And this was right after I got the Yugo Anywhere Pochade. Um, the new and the new tripod. So I used White Knight watercolors for this. And that was just out in my yard as well. This was a very bad day. I didn't know what to do. So I um, uh, just did weird designs. They look like a bunch of Band-Aids to me. And that's got nothing on it. Um, and then this was another still life. It twisted that perspective. You can see how I twisted it in. It needed to move back this way, which if I had done my line up like this, it would have shifted it back. You see how it does that? So I either messed this side up, but I more likely messed this side up. And that needed to come this way, which would mean that these had to be a lot narrower. I have too much depth here, too much twist going on here. And if I had decreased the depth, then this would have shifted, straightened out, and narrowed, and it would have been fine. This is off too, I think, at least from looking at this picture. If this is flat, I guess it could have been from the side. It could have looked that way, like it's tilting up, but it looks like it needs to come down a hair. I always notice these things afterward, but when I'm sketching them, sometimes perspective can be so difficult, which is what makes these still lives great to practice on. Um, when I'm sketching them, it's like I can't see it. I cannot see it, and I've got to break it down into shapes. Um, but here I still messed up for whatever reason. Another bad day. I don't know what I was doing. No clue what to do, but I'll keep moving. <laughs> okay. That was about three weeks after my, no, maybe five weeks after my surgery. And then this was the end. I just did a roll of toilet paper. So that is it for this sketchbook. Well, so that's it, you guys. Uh, sketchbook is finished, and I'm almost finished with this one that I showed you a few months ago. Uh, I only have this much left, and I'm done. So hopefully in the next week or two I can be done with that, and I will do another sketchbook tour. But I'm going to try very much to get a painting out to you, and um, hopefully very soon. So remember, be courageous. Paint with wild abandon. Oh, and most of all, be kind to each other. Tully says hello, don't you? He still won't let me paint. It's so hard. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I just finished one painting, this uh, gouache painting that I did. Posted it on Instagram. But um, that was without him in here. And then Pat had to leave for a wild game dinner with his buddy. And so now I've got to paint with this dog on my lap, which is absolutely impossible. He needs to learn to just love it here. So I'm trying to ignore him. It's not working out very well, is it? <laughs> Take care. God bless you. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye, everybody. You say bye, too? No? You're not going to say bye, too? You can watch for the squirrels outside.